Come here. Will Payday 3 have offline mode, like playing solo? Uh, no, you will be able to play by yourself, but uh, I do believe you will have to have a connection in order to play, because it's Bruh. made in the Unreal Engine, it's using cross-progression, cross-play, I do believe we need you to be online, my dude. <sighs> Alright, emergency meeting. Let's talk about this. Live service and online only games have been around for many years now. And although they certainly have their benefits, they also come with some huge flaws. Sadly, as you saw from the clip in the beginning of the video, Amir Lister has confirmed that Payday 3 will be an online only game. Even if you're someone like me who likes to play solo for whatever reason, you still need an online connection and able to play the game. This fucking sucks. And I'm gonna give you my reasoning why. This is certainly a type of video that I hate making. However, I feel like it's only fair to bring this up and make more people aware of this. As for some people, this is a huge factor in whether or not you will be purchasing the game or not. I'm gonna give you my personal reasons as to why I think this is a terrible idea, along with some other examples from other AAA titles that have online only models that recently have been in the gaming light in a very negative way. So, let me just get into this. Ever since this clip emerged, I've been getting messages privately and through my comment section about my opinions on this game being an online only title. And the short answer is, it's a very bad idea. But does it mean the game immediately is going to suck because of it? No, of course not. And if you think that, then please give your head a wobble. But yes, ultimately having the game online only even if you are playing solo, is ridiculous. Payday 2's progression is built into the game, meaning that once you've installed the game, you can play the game online or offline. It's up to you. Let's say that your internet suddenly cut out, but you still want to play Payday 2? No worries, I can play offline and play with bots while still leveling up my account and unlocking new stuff. But for the most part, I can still play the game. In Payday 3, however, even if you are buying the game for the sole purpose of playing offline, by yourself, with no other people, you still need an internet connection. Why? Well, Almir kind of said the reasons as to why you'll need an online connection in the clip I've just showed you. Because it's made in the Unreal Engine, it's using cross-progression, cross-play, I do believe we need you to be online, my dude. So because the game is being developed on Unreal Engine, and because on launch they will be using cross-progression and cross-play, which, don't get me wrong, is absolutely fine. This is a good thing, as I can play with some friends who are on console who want to get the game. But what if I don't have any mates on console? What if I just want to play with PC players? Well, can I have the option to turn these settings off? Let's say I want to do a live stream in the future of me just solo stealthing every heist. I'm solo stealth Thing. Surely I don't need an online connection to play solo. Well then, this also confirms that the progression on your accounts can only be possible if you're online. It won't be like Payday 2, which I explained a minute ago, where progression is online or offline and it's built into the game. I can't just do my own thing offline and still progress as normal. So, wait a minute. If I need a connection just to play the damn game, what happens when my internet goes out? All the servers go down. I guess we just have to sit around with our thumb up our asses whilst we wait for the fixes, right? This f***ing sucks, man. And this has me very nervous for the launch of the game, where I guarantee there will be a shit ton of players bombarding the servers, hoping to try Payday 3 out. Because not only do you have people who are buying the game on Steam, also have the people on Xbox Game Pass that want to give the game a try as well. So the player count on launch is gonna be f***ing massive. And with that, you'll have your usual scum of the earth, degenerates, looking to crash the servers and ruining the launch experience for everyone, which we have seen in the past from many other multiplayer titles. If this was Payday 2, if the servers went down, ah oh well, at least I can still play the game offline, or well, not in Payday 3 though. Okay, I'm sort of repeating myself here, but I just needed to get that first point across and hammer in the point home, using a few examples. The second example I'm going to talk about is security issues, and I'm going to be talking about another games franchise. You may have heard of it, you may not. It's called Call of Duty. Call of Duty has recently been a victim of not just DDoS attacks and server crashes, but also it has been a hunting ground for hackers who have found flaws in the game's security systems and have used that to their advantage and have taken over the game and have also managed to get a hold of other players' accounts. And even worse, 
get a hold of other people's computers. This has resulted in people's PCs bricking up completely. People's personal information and financial information like their credit card details getting exposed. And the answer to that and to avoid that would be to play offline, right? Don't play on the servers. That will allow you to avoid such attacks, right? Wrong. Let's take Black Ops 3 as an example. On the zombies mode, you have a choice to play online, play solo, or play offline. If you play offline, you are unable to progress and level up your guns, level up your cows, and you're basically just playing for shits and gigs. If you want to play solo, you need to be connected to the online servers to level up your weapons and your accounts, as your progression on your account is connected to the servers. Even if you are playing this solo mode, there are hackers that can worm their way into your game in the attempts to get onto your computer and steal your personal information. I wish I was making this up, but if you want more information on this, go and check out videos from Call of Duty YouTubers like Mr. T. Lexify and Merc Music, who go into a lot more depth with the security issues in those games. And they're much bigger channels when it comes to those games, and they obviously know the games better than I do. Anyways, back to Payday 3. If this game is going to be an online-only title, then the security better be top-notch. Otherwise, we're gonna get another repeat of what's happening over there in the COD community. And we're also relying on the game's servers to be up 24-7 and hoping that there will be no crashes at launch. Well, not even just at launch, but no crashes, period. Otherwise, we're left in a predicament like I mentioned earlier, where we can't even play the damn game that we paid for. But this once again just highlights the many downsides to an online only title. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where the video is going to end. I know this wasn't a fun kind of video that I usually do, and it turned out to be more of a rant more than anything, but I seriously needed to get this off my chest and make you guys aware that Payday 3 will not be playable without an online connection. Even if you've installed the game and it's ready to go, you still need an online connection to play. So yeah, rant over guys. Let me know what you guys think of the, this decision in the comment section below and let's get the discussion going and just make more people aware of this because obviously this could be a huge turn off to people buying the game because obviously what if you don't have a good connection? What if your connection isn't the best but you still want to play the game? Well, sucks to be you then I guess. I'll see you guys in the next video which will be a much more happy and fun kind of video and I honestly can't wait for you guys to see it. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.